everyone. Thanks for coming to Bridge Cable, our learning ch section, channel, page, whatever you like. So, what we're doing here is we're going to be doing a Cat 6 patch cable with the load bars. So, client has a little bit different length, so we need about 20 feet patch cables. So, why I somehow volunteered for this, I figured I'd make a video because some of our new techs don't know. So, with the advent or the introduction of the load bar, it's a little bit different. And if I can be completely honest, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt for the load bar. So, right now we kind of skipped ahead, I undid... Uh, I took the jacket off of one cable. You don't need to see that. That's already been done. So we want to do regular B pinout. So it's basically the same thing as far as prep work. Split them. Split the wires up. Now it may be a little bit hard to see with my beat up fingers. But like just with the original one. And I always hate how the green always green solid comes out sometimes. But we just want to make that nice and easy. How's everybody doing today? It's the summer, 2014. Beautiful times. So, now that we have this all together, now you basically want to take your fingers. That's not perfect. I don't like that way. But you want to get it to a nice straight and I usually just use my fingers manipulate it a little straighter and then I'm going to show you the time saving trick that everybody should know so you got it primarily nice and straight you want to take your clips 45 degree angle cut don't that's a little bit too bizarre so then you want to take the loads load bars now there's going to be one side that's flat, one side that's not flat. You want to go all the way up to the release. So you're going to see. Now with that 45, and I've done a couple dozen of these today already. Sometimes they work out too well. Sometimes they don't. It's starting to come through the top. And i got to readjust. And as you can see, you got to be really careful on this. There we go. Okay. So you can see that went through. And just real quick, you want to just take a look. You want to see solid stripe. You just want to make sure that's right. Okay. So here's the, here's the catch. Here's the gizmo. I see a lot of times you want to have the load all the way up there. The load bar all the way up to the tip. Now, you want to also keep in fact the jacket. I see a lot of jacks out there. They just, you know, they're in there and they have this exposed. You never ever want to see that. So, knowing that I've done a couple of these, I can cut right here. That's a good angle. And then what I do is I put them in there and I try to squeeze it up as much as possible. Now you're going to see the load bar got up there a little bit. Take a little screwdriver. Some of the kits come with it. You just want to push that load bar in there. Tell me that we're going to be playing games with me tonight. Oh my goodness, I did that wrong. My apologies. <laughs> you got to have a little fun in life. So you take the screwdriver, you want to push it all the way in. And you're going to feel a little chunk. Just like working with cables, pulling cables, you're going to get used to feeling things. So you want to get it all the way up there flush. Now, as you can see, the jacket, that's, that's no good. You can see that we have this much space. But I know already, because I'm the king of network cabling, when I put this in there, it's going to go, I can maneuver this jacket in a little bit better. So watch what happens. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure in there. Crimp it. Two hands, because I'm weak. Now look what happened. You got that nice jack, jacket covering that there. Because the whole point of this thing is you want to make sure that the stress and strain of your cable is carried by the jacket. Now you're not going to be really playing a tug of war or anything like that with these cables. However, you want to make sure that happens. Now when we use patch cables, um, I did the other end, 
we typically like to uh, fluke uh, certify these guys and but for this demonstration purposes you can just say that we did that so with the load bars you want to make sure that you have nice jacket cuts into them and make sure you get the load bar all the way up there you can use a little screwdriver or whatnot hopefully you enjoyed it and this is uh, for some new hires for bridge cable and for your benefit too please leave some comments down below have a great day